In this video, you'll learn how to create a family tree using a Google Sheets template and the diagramming software YEd. The first thing you'll need is to make a copy of the family tree template. Follow this link to Google Sheets. From Google Sheets, we'll click File, Make a Copy, and then name and save the file to your Google Drive. Go ahead and start filling in the people information. Each row will need a type, a first and a last name. Birth dates are optional and then parent relationships are optional as well. Okay, with our people entered, we can start establishing the relationships. In this example, child is related to parent one and parent two, and parent one is related to grandparent one. The other type of relationships that can be established are spouse relationships. Let's say that child has a spouse named spouse one. To create a relationship between these two people, go to the families tab and enter child as spouse one and spouse one as spouse two. So this will display a connection between these two people in our family tree diagram. Before we can export the template, make sure that it's valid. The template has three validation checks. Each person needs to have a type, and if a type is omitted, it's highlighted in red. And each person, the first name and last name has to be unique. If a name is used more than once, it's highlighted in yellow. And the third rule is if a relationship name is used that's not in our list of people, then that relationship is indicated as invalid. With no errors on the template, the next step is to export it by clicking File, Download, Microsoft Excel. You don't need to have Microsoft Excel installed on your computer for YED to import the data. Open YED. Before we can import the data, we'll need to configure a few settings to allow YED to receive the data. To get started, go over to the Create New Document icon. And in this new document, we're going to add a new palette. To create a new palette, we'll click Edit, Manage Palette, New Section, and we'll call this section Family Tree. Now we'll need to add shapes to our family tree section. I'll grab the rectangle with rounded corners. Zoom in a bit. We'll prepare this shape to receive the first name, last name, and birth and date of death of the people in our family tree. So we'll need to add labels to this shape. There's a hidden label here. Use the find by going edit find. I like to add the edit find to the doc. Now that finds in our doc, we're going to make sure that node labels are selected. The other sections are unselected. We want to use this criteria. We want to select an index where the index is zero. And we'll click the play button to run the find. 
and it's located the label here. Double click to add the first name label. Press enter, click and drag it into place. I'll also add labels for the last name, date of birth and date of death by right clicking, add label, name the label, control click, and then click, left click into place. With our labels in place, the last configuration I want to make for this shape is to change the color in the properties panel with the shape selected. I'll choose fill color to white. Then I'll right click and choose add to palette family tree. And you can see the shape is now in our family tree section. I also want to add a shape for our family type nodes. And I want this to be the color black. And I want to remove the hidden label. So I run the find and delete the label. And then add to the family tree palette. Okay, we can delete this temporary file now that we have our section. No, do not save the changes. Now we're ready to import our file by selecting File Open or the Open icon on the menu bar. The MS Excel import dialog box appears. Here we'll select our edges and nodes. There's an edge sheet and a node sheet that were hidden in our template, and we'll use those to tell Wyed how to represent the family tree data. First, we'll select the range of data that is our edges, columns A and B, in the data range, click Adopt, then select just column A, the source information, in the column of source IDs, click Adopt, column B, the same, click over to the node edge, excuse me, the nodes sheet. Expand it so you can see all the columns, A through J, and under the node list, data range, adopt. Column A has the unique identifiers. Select column A, and then for the column node IDs, click adopt. And that's all we're going to do for the initial import. I'll click OK. And you can see it's represented our data. It's connected all the nodes together, but it doesn't quite look like a family tree. Before we can run the family tree layout, we'll need to map the Excel data to the shapes that we just created in the previous step. To do that, we'll click Edit, Property Mapper, then Configurations, new configuration nodes. Give it a name. The type of template is multiple. Now we're going to start selecting the data sources from the Excel file and mapping them to shapes and attributes in YAD. So we'll click the plus sign to add a new entry. We want to use the type column and we want to use distinct values. We'll go down to the selected mapping section and add a mapping for the family type. And we'll tell it which shape to use for that type, which is the black dot. Now we'll need to tell it which shape to use for the female type, which is that box and which shape to use for the male type. We'll also need to set the height and width of these shapes when they're imported. So we'll do this first for the height. I want the 
height to be distinct values. So again, we'll pick all three types, family, female, and male. We'll say the family will be height 10, and female and male types will be height 60. With our shapes defined, we're going now to map the data to the labels. So we'll go to our data source and find the first name that goes to label text automatic map it to label number one and you can see in our shape here label one is where we put the first name next we'll choose the last name also to label text but instead of going to label one we want that to go to label two and for the birth year label text number three and the death year automatic label number four and if you have entered urls in your template that link to interesting information about a person you can take the url data from the spreadsheet and map it to the URL attribute of the shape. And we can now see that our data, our names, and dates have been added to the shapes. And it still doesn't look like a family tree yet. What we need to do now is run the family tree layout by going to the layout menu and selecting family tree. Keeping the family tree dialog in the doc can be useful if you're going to be importing it and working on it you may have to do it more than once and just having the ability to click on the plus sign makes the interface easy to use and now our shapes have been organized some of the steps we just completed only had to be done once for example the next time we import the file we just say open document Now when we come to the import menu, our ranges have been remembered. If you add more names, you'll have to reset the range so it picks up the new data. But the second time you import it, you can go to the presentation tab and choose use configuration and select the mapping configuration we just created. And then when you click OK, it imports the map and all you have to do is press run the family tree and it sorts it the way you would want now if you wanted to print your family tree or export it as a PDF you can do that directly in YED however the hyperlinks will not work and there's an easy workaround for how to do that first you export your file by going to export Use the save as type SVG. Then open the file in a program called Inkscape. Simply open the file. When the file opens in Inkscape, then choose File Save As and the Save As type select Portable Document Format. This converts the SVG to a PDF where the hyperlinks will be active. And if you want to print your PDF, I recommend using the Foxit Reader. This is a free PDF reader software that has a useful print function to print over multiple pages. So it can take your large document, your large family tree and print it into tiles across multiple pages. Okay, so that is all you need to know to create a family tree using the Google Sheets template and YED. I hope this tool will be helpful in your work. Take care.